Hello everybody, Haunted William here, and I am back with another morbid review. And, uh, just today I saw the opening, not the opening night, but the day after. Um, I saw it the opening day. I didn't see the premiere though. Uh, this is the Slenderman movie that came out. It's, uh, basically about the creepypasta. And there is an entire group of teenage girls, and they summon him by watching this video. They uh, close their eyes, and after the two rings, on the third ring, they open their eyes, and then they're cursed with this terrible curse with the Slender Man. It's uh, really creepy throughout the movie. There are definitely parts that I would advise for like younger kids that are really, uh, it's really scary. Um, uh, you, you know what I'm talking about if you see it. If you've seen this movie and you're watching the video, uh, certain parts of the movie, like there's uh, roots and branches growing through people's eyes and ma in their mouth, it's really, really creepy, uh, in their eye sockets. Uh, there's also very intense scenes, very dramatic also. I would probably say that this is a really intense movie and you'll be on your edge of your seat uh, by the very end of the movie. The end of the movie leaves you on an okay note, I have to say. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I mean, it's okay. It still has that sense that there's still evil lurking out there at any time. But I have to admit that I have to give this movie props for what it's done. I mean, uh, I've never really seen like a, any creepy poster or urban legend movies that get their own movie but at the same time it could still be a really bad movie uh, this one people are saying it's extremely bad in my opinion it's just a little bit mediocre only a little bit kind of like dead silence that movie um, that movie was really good there were certain parts of it that were just like p plot holes and stuff all over the place Overall, it was really creepy and fun, and it was a really good ride. Same thing with this movie. It's an enjoyable movie. It's PG-13. Uh, uh, probably, uh, if you're around, like, 10 years old, like, uh, close to uh, teenage, like, uh, 13 years old, this is an okay movie to watch for, like, your first time ever watching a horror movie. Um, I'd probably rec... Uh, it depends on what you like in horror. Uh, I, I think this is an okay movie. Not the best, definitely seen better. Um, uh, a bunch of girls go missing in the movie. They also don't have that much character development in this movie. Uh, I can only remember a couple of characters. I think the the last survi the last person that uh, uh, hints uh, kind of mild spoilers. The only person that made it alive, uh, the last person that uh, made it alive, uh, she she ended up dying, and I can't even remember her name. She was actually the one character I didn't even know about. Uh, overall, I really thought that this movie was creepy. I'd probably recommend it. Don't know, but overall, if I really had to rate this movie out of a ten. On the Reaper scale, I'd probably give it an 8, 8 out of 10. Uh, my mind is probably going to change. Uh, I, I know because of many other movies. Uh, in the future, I think this might be a 7.5, but I don't think it could go down that much. This movie is definitely pretty good for what it is, an average movie. Uh, it, it's just painfully, a painfully average. That That's all I have to say. Not the best movie, not the worst movie. Doesn't have great character development, but definitely has them uh, good scares and definitely a good creepypasta movie to watch around like the Halloween season. So yeah, so thank you for watching this uh, morbid review and I'll see you later guys. Okay, bye.